Hey everybody, it's underscore classic here and welcome back to Rise of Nations. Yay! Now, of course last time I made a video on Rise of Nations, I was talking about how great the game, like how much potential was within the game. Was I correct? I was. But here's the issue that I've been having. i played this game so much that I'm basically bored of it. They've added tons of stuff, I've gotten used to the stuff, learned how to be good with the stuff, and then gotten bored of the stuff. So the last few things that were added were factions, which uh, turned out to be not that great, honestly. The thing was doctrines, but it doesn't really do much. Anyway, so last time I did uh, a video on a small nation, Isle of Man, etc. There's also been stability added, I should mention that. But, today we're not going to be doing... Nah, I'm joking, we are, of course we're going to do One Island Province. That's, that's going to be my thing on YouTube. I'm just going to keep doing One Island Province days, and today... We're going to form the greatest empire to ever have lived, that's right. It's the Dongan Empire, yay! This is going to be fun. So here we are in the lovely island of Tonga. And it looks like someone drew the Switzerland flag wrong. But let's, let's ignore that. So first of all, I'm going to show you some things. So first we have doctrines. Whoa! And basically these allow us to specialise our army in something. Specialisation? Guess what? It it just makes your army better overall. There's no nothing. There's nothing bad about these doctrines. It just allows you to focus on yeah, a certain bit. This will spawn your guys well trained already. Mass attack will just give you more manpower. Yay! I don't care. Another thing is technology, which boosts uh, whatever one you want to go for is uh, damage and health. It normally costs like 500, then 1000, blah blah blah, you want one. I don't think anyone, I don't think I've seen anyone ever get down to the bottom of it because, well, why would you play that long? Unless you have this research suspension and you have it like all the way to maximum for the entire game. But that, that, as a small nation you can afford it, but as a big nation, it normally puts you in minus income. So there's a government spending which helps you uh, control this thing here, stability, basically to stop your country from collapsing. So yeah, the game's gone a bit more complicated but I've learned it all and it's honestly not that complicated as anyone would think. Now it's time to recruit our entire population. How big is our population? 50. How many did I just recruit? 60. I think we must have uh, captured a few people that were, you know, cruising by and made them and force them to become part of our army so we can grow our amazing empire. Our great thing they've added is ideology. Whoa. And basically, nationalism. Beautiful. Nationalism, it has no downfalls. I'm not joking. Get more manpower. It doesn't cost as much to keep up your military. Uh, you can justify quicker. You get a base, uh, you get a little boost for your stability growth. And the best of all, you get stability when you go to war. Now have an, we're now about to have an army of 80k, even though our population is 50k. Now I do believe the population of Tonga in uh, real life is like 100k. So basically, we've just uh, forced like 75% of our population. We're going to throw our Thai population at another nation just so we can become bigger. Yes, this is not like Isle Man, this is not going to be fun. This is going to be painful. Anyway, we're going to send these guys out over here because Fiji does have some extra islands. Oh, extra. Well, actually, that, you'd think this would be uh, its own landmass, but guess what? It's not. It, it, you, you have to go across this in a boat. Don't know why. They're just that lazy with it. They have a formable that allows you to form the Tongan Empire. It's actually been in the game longer than, like, most formables. Now our goal is to probably try to form our empire and then also uh, go get some proper mainland I guess and then some more and then that will probably be taken by then. <laughs> One hop away to get coca-cola later and now we've got Fiji a part of our country. Yay! Now it's time for a fun part. It's not fun, by the way. Oh, look. We took some more and we lost. I don't think that's... Is that correct? We had, we had 19k and then we're 54. 
I don't think that's seven. I don't know. I don't care. Gets another Samoa. Why are there so many damn Samoas? Let's go take this one, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's go take American Samoa. It's like regular Samoa, but American. Welcome to the Empire American Samoa. Eh, eh, eh. The thing you could always do as a nation is ask for some financial and manpower from all the big nations. But we're not doing that as Tonga. We're an independent young nation. <coughs> Boom, guys. We've done it. We've taken the Cook Islands. And it's time for fucking updates. Fuck you. Here we've got China, who has decided to do a cool little circle thingy with their attacks, and is now taking India. Yay! Up uh, next, Iran is still doing nothing. Actually, no, never mind, I actually did quite, quite a bit of land. Saudi Arabia is also doing nothing. France is invading Spain, Germany invaded Italy. Now the retreat. Okay, the war's over. Yeah. I had so much fun waiting for my men to replenish. It's so much fun. So as we can see, we take we've taken this city here, and now they're gonna be like, <gasps> "What? You never played Tuber Simulator." And now they're gonna go, and now they're gonna try and make it over, but then... Uh, but then... <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> well, it worked anyway. <laughs> As you can see, they tried to land on us, and so they just died because they're not strong enough. You're gonna, it's kind of going to come take Australia. Kind, kind of just gonna come take Australia. And uh, the Solomon Islands are now part of our uh, glorious nation. You're welcome. Actually, that's better. Actually, that makes life easier. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> See, we barely lost any man because we were fighting on land there. Beautiful. Now go, my sweet men. Marshall Islands have been taken. We have an oil storage, but. I don't care at this point. We can get rid of these. Because the deed is done, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to form. Tonkin Empire. Bam, look at that. Now it's time to take some mainland stuff. And there we go, the New Zealands are now part of our empire. Whoa, we've got some actual mainland. There we go guys, I think I'm going to call it for today. I could go take Papua New Guinea, see if I could take Indonesia. Dang, that would be a big one. But, uh, can't be fucked. And, uh, this took way too much time than it should have. And this was a complete waste of my time. But I hope you enjoyed me wasting my time. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.